All right, hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Now I just wanna go ahead and share something with you that I kinda of created myself. As a kid, when I was a kid, I used to be ingenious. As, you know, I had to use my imagination and I used to like come up with all kinds of crazy games uh, during the long summers for me and my friends and my sisters and everything like that to play. My mom used to babysit a whole bunch of kids and I'd come up with crazy games uh, with my own rules and ideas and imagination that we would sit around and play for hours. Uh, because we didn't have computer games and stuff like that back in the early 1980s and the mid 1980s uh, until I got my Commodore 64 and then that pretty much took over my childhood. But uh, I kind of used that same imagination to create a game when my kids were having a little bit of difficulty learning their multiplication. And so I want to go ahead and share this idea with you guys and kind of help you guys uh, maybe, you know, if you know a kid or your kid uh, is kind of, uh, you know, struggling with learning the multiplication table. I think this is something that can help a lot. I had tried, you know, having one of my kids do the tests and the games online, you know, on the computer for uh, multiplication, but they weren't really learning. And this game, they actually really liked, uh, and it actually did help. So I want to go ahead and show you guys this game and it just uses a deck of cards so you don't have to draw out all the multiplication you don't have to find or buy uh, some expensive game or go online to one of those websites that has all kinds of ads and flash ads popping up all the time you don't have to go out and you know spend uh, money on index cards or some special cards you just buy a, a regular deck of cards most people have a regular deck of cards and this is a brand new deck of cards so these are kind of slick but what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and once you, uh, you're going to go through your deck of cards, you're going to go ahead and get rid of the jokers. You're going to keep all the cards in there, except for the jokers. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and sort these cards out, like so. You're going to go ahead and keep all the numbers, including the ace, because the ace is a one. Okay? And you're going to go all the way through ten. And then, for the jack, queen, king, and eight, actually, just the jack, queen, and king of each suit, you're going to go ahead and put those off to the side. So here I'm going to go ahead and go through all my cards, any numbered cards including aces. I'm going to go ahead and put one pile. And then I'm going to go ahead and put all my jacks, queens, and kings in another pile. I'm going to go ahead and go through here to ace. Like I said, these cards are slick here kind of scooting all over the place. So there's my jack and king and queen of hearts and my jack of hearts. And we're going to definitely use those as special ones. So here's all my numbered cards, including my aces. Don't forget the aces in here. And we're going to go ahead and shuffle this pile of cards right here. All right, we've shuffled these cards a few times. I'm going to go ahead and give them one more quick shuffle here. All right. So now that we have just our aces through tens of each suit shuffled in a deck, okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and take all of our face cards, our jacks, queens, and kings of each suit. And here's the story behind this line. We have our jack, queen, and king of hearts. And these are the special family that we're trying to save from the bad guys. And what I did is I went ahead and named them something like, you know, the queen is Hillary Hart, the king is Hank Hart, and then the jack is Jordan Hart. So, you know, you can name them whatever you want, whatever the kids, you know, have the kids help you uh, think of names for them, whatever you want to do. But we have Hillary, Hank, and Jordan here. Uh, and these are my, this is my Hart family. And this is the uh, family we got to save. Are you ready to try to save the Hart family, Christian? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to do this with multiplication today, okay? Okay, so we have the Hart family. Are you ready to save these guys today, Christian? Yes. Yeah? All right. So... These are what? All these guys are what, Christian? Bad. These guys are bad guys, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix in our good guys with the bad guys. So these bad guys have broke into our good guy's house, and they have actually uh, taken our heart family. 
Jordan, Hillary, and Hank have been taken captive by the bad guys, and they are found now in a remote hideout outside of town in the desert by a big cave, and they are doing bad things to our beloved heroes. But we want to save Hillary, Hank, and Jordan today, don't we? Yeah. Okay, so any suit here that isn't the good guys, the hearts basically, are the bad guys. And we don't want those. We want to save all the good guys. And that's how we win our game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lay these cards out in a random order. And these are all our face cards. All right. Let's go ahead and lay them out like that. And we don't know where our hearts are, do we? No. Okay. So now what we're going to do that is our face cards, that's our jacks, queens, and kings, and somewhere among there is our heart family, and we gotta try, try to save all three of them to win this game, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go ahead and take turns, and a turn is gonna consist of either letting your child pick out a random number, spreading the cards out, and let him pick two cards that he can't see. Go ahead and pick two cards. They're pretty slick, because they're brand new. Okay, so turn that over. That is your first multiplier, the one you're going to multiply first. So just lay it on the ground, or leave it on your knee, and then go ahead and pick out a second one. All right, so what is five times four, Christian? 20. What is it? 20. 20. All right, so then what, what he has been successful. So what he gets to do is he gets to try to save uh, one of these guys. He'll pick one, and if it's a heart... I caught a bad guy. He caught a bad guy. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and just put our bad guy down here. So you did not save one of the heart members, so we're going to have to try again. All right, so go ahead and leave those to the side over there. Okay. Okay. So now, if I want to, I can just go through here and I can pick these at random myself, or I can let him do it. Okay. Go ahead and pick two cards. Oh, you want me to? Yep, go ahead. Pick two cards. One. And then you're going to take them and you're going to multiply them by each other. 30. Okay, what is it? Show me the cards. And two. Okay, so 10 times 3, that was an easy one, huh? Okay, so you got a, you got another score. Now what happens here is, what did he get now? He got the king of hearts, so you saved Hank Hart. Good job, you got one of three. So you saved Hank Hart, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna continue. Now let's just go ahead and leave Hank Hart over here where you saved him. Yay, good job, you only got two more. You gotta save Hillary Hart and Jordan Hart, right? Okay. Our Jack and our queen of hearts. And again, you guys can think of any name you want. Now what happens here, let's go ahead and miss this one on purpose, okay? Go ahead and pick two more cards here at random. Okay. 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 Now you got two big ones, that'll be a good one to miss, right? I know you know the answer. What's the correct answer to that? 90. 90? Okay, because you got 9 times 10, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just say you guessed 88, right? Okay. <laughs> you know better though, right? Yeah. Okay, but let's say you guessed 88. So you got it wrong. So now what happens is the parent or the person actually playing the game with him and holding the cards uh, with him, I'm saying, ha, 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 you missed. Bad. What's the right answer? You want to make sure they know the right answer uh, to the uh, multiplication that they got. But you say, you know what? Uh, the correct answer. And then you're going to go ahead and pick a card. And if you actually pick up any one of the hearts, then your child immediately loses and one of the heart family has died. Uh, are been not rescued and so then at that point you will say you know what I used to do is I used to say you know what you don't get to watch TV or you don't get to play the computer or you don't get to whatever one of their favorite activities was I'm like you don't get to do that go study your multiplication and we'll try again in a couple hours or we'll try again in three hours or whatever and they don't get it. My, my daughter didn't get to do what she wanted to do uh, until she actually won the game and this was very very effective so, uh, we're going to continue playing until he's going to actually uh, rescue all of the Hart family. So and it may take him up to 12 tries, 12 successful tries, to actually uh, get them all if the last card he picks up uh, is the last heart. But we're going to continue playing that until he either wins or until I, until he gets them wrong, until I pick up one of the hearts. If I pick up a bad guy, then he just goes in the same pile. Uh, and you can kind of twist these rules and make these rules your own so that your child loves them. In fact, have your child help you come up with rules or what they think would work and make it fun for them. 
but my kids actually like this game and it does help uh, when a child enjoys what they're doing to learn the multiplication. So hopefully this will help you guys out. Uh, kind of interact with your kids, kind of help you uh, teach them multiplication where you're playing an active part of their learning. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully this helps somebody out. If so, please leave a comment down in the comments below. Let me know how you guys enjoy my multiplication card game uh, to help your child learn multiplication. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any ideas to make this game even more fun, obviously. And be sure you give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoy my video as well. And also subscribe. I want to go ahead and thank you for watching. This has been Zaxter99. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.